Speed. We're on our way to Manila. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Pres well, that happened. <laughs> Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Pres well, that happened. <laughs>
Yes, honey. She's yes, honey. Sorry, I can't make it. I'm washing my hair tonight. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm washing my hair tonight. Looking, looking, looking. No, all right, on to the next. Okay, this is it. This is it. It's gonna be in there. La única mujer drag que tenemos en el carnaval de nuestra tierra. Y eso tiene que ser orgullo de todas las mujeres y de todos los hombres porque tenemos una mujer drag. Y eso es lo que trae la gala Drag Queen Latina. That's how you make an entrance, ¿ok? Drag Noah, she's a bio queen from Spain. ¡Jole! Gorgeous. Quirón, te amo.
How are you, mis amores? I'm here with my sister, Pandora's Box. Oh my God, Miss Congeniality Sisters. Yes. And we we're not a... really nice in real life. No, we spent the money already <laughs> at the $5,000, so we're not nice anymore. Wait, I didn't get any money. Se te olvidó, papá. Papá, se te olvidó la canción. Pero es... Hi everyone, it's Eureka. I'm getting ready to finish getting ready. I just wanted to let you know and remind you one more time, in San Francisco, excited and ready for a great night at Bo in Castro. Be safe, it's Sunday and the Lord's Day. Watch out. Hi kids, it's Eureka here. I'm hanging out at Bo in Castro, San Francisco with these lovely whores. Hey. Hey. What's up? Hi. Yes. Wow. We're gonna have a good old time, honey. Too bad you ain't here. <laughs> Hi kids, I just wanted to mention an amazing fucking DJ here at the Bow in Castro in San Francisco, DJ Becky Knox! Hey, come on! We was bopping and cropping and gigging. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, God, you got it? You got him? Oh, 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 God. You win.
I have had some messy stories. I've never had one too. Oh, you're messy. Wait, wait, wait. You don't need to take it. Turn left onto Moore Park Street. <laughs> hey, so I know everyone's been asking me if I'm going to speak out in regards to the article that RuPaul put out with Out Magazine. Honestly, I'm still trying to understand completely all what it means and just gathering my thoughts, emotions before I speak up. I'm definitely not trying to like quickly jump to any conclusions or assume anything because we all have very different opinions and we also need to give each other respect and listen as well just as much as we need to state our opinions. So I'll actually be making a video specifically on the subject matter and posting it on my YouTube channel Gia Gun Entertainment. So if you haven't already, go on over to my channel and subscribe and look out for this video. Hey everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your day. I want you guys to stay tuned for my video that will be uploaded at 1 o'clock on my channel, Gia Gun Entertainment. Hey you guys, as I promised, I responded to RuPaul's article in The Guardian, so swipe up for the full video and be sure to subscribe to Gia Gun Entertainment. Hope you like it. So I just wanted to take two seconds to let you guys know that I've been reading all your comments all day and I thank you so, so much for those of you that have liked, commented, shared, and just taken a part of this very important conversation. For me personally, it's very important that you all understand that I am not attacking RuPaul, nor am I siding with her, yet just stating my opinion and hopefully bringing some clarity to this very confusing topic. I hope my participation in this conversation has helped inspire all of you to realize that your opinions matter too. Therefore, I can't wait to continue conversating with each and every single one of you. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hope you're having a good day. I am. Look, I'm feeling better. Mama's back at like a 96. I could use like four more. And since I'm feeling better, you know what that means, baby. That means a return to touring. On Thursday, I have the viewing party for All Stars 3 at Mickey's in West Hollywood. And then this weekend, I head out to San Jose, Sacramento, and San Francisco on Sunday. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Jiggly Caliente. I am here in Chicago. Catch me tonight at my album release party here in Chicago at the one and only, and the only place where all drag race stuff happens is at Roscoe's. See you tonight at 11 p.m. What a great night at Roscoe's. Thank you so much. And Chicago, thank you for always being so special and loving. Thank you for all the love and support. Hashtag thought process. I love you. Good night. Yeah, I think 
Yes, huh? Of course, they're for both of us. My ears popped. <laughs> you just keep farting. Did you fart? Also Italian crab leg. Gigantia. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, you guys, go watch my sister Gia Gunn's new video. She's on her trans activist kick. Swipe up now to watch. Me too, unfortunately. Wow. You see this? Morgan's straight up going through a bitch's bag and is like, oh, I like that product and this product. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take everything. But she's mopping everything. <laughs> Bitch is bracing herself. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm up early because I'm dogsing my friend Anna's dogs. That's crazy. That's monster, my little Pomeranian. Charlie! Charlie's that brown one. And then that's Iggy. So it's... Hello, everybody out there in the Instagram world. Yes, I still have the 11 by 17 poster with little tiny brown buttons. It's a combo. 
MD me for prices and I'll be happy to sign it for you. Awesome. Hi, how is everybody? Well, I'm here, I'm tired, and I'm going to tell you about my um, dreams I had last night. Yeah, because I know you all like to hear about my dreams. I had two wild dreams. So dream number one. I'm sitting in a classroom, we'll say with all my RuPaul's Drag Race alumni, and we're all at these tables, and I take off my wig. I have that really nice dark wig I have on, and I take her off, and I'm sitting there in my wig cap, and then all of a sudden, like, a crew walks in, including RuPaul, yeah, and they all hand us out band-aids and some other things. They want us to make some kind of craft Maybe they want us to do some sort of a challenge. I don't know. But they're going to tell us how it works. And RuPaul sits next to me. And he's not in drag, of course. He's out of drag, you know, bald as ever. And I'm sitting there in my cap. I'm sitting there in my wig cap. And him and I, um, in full drag, of course. And we, I'm in full drag. He's not, remember. And we're talking about the project. And my wig, there's, the tables are connected. And my wig, here's details, my wig is slipping through the cracks and I'm trying to pull it out as I'm talking to RuPaul. And um, I don't know, we're getting ready to do some craft with him. And I don't know, what's next? So that was that dream with RuPaul. Then my second dream was me and Michael, you know my guitarist, the one with the shaggy hair, my accompanist, Browning Caddy. Well, I had a dream that him and I were put sort of in an insane asylum, not an insane asylum, a we were in sort of a, a a care provide center, I guess, in a sense. A place where they care for you, I guess. Or maybe a homeless shelter. I don't know. And him and I were both on the same cot, which is very interesting. I mean, not that interesting. I mean, we both always usually sleep together when we're on traveling together, which is nice. You know, friend to cuddle with. <laughs> but um, we're in there. And then... The dream switches to me and him are riding on a metro and we get to the end of the metro link where we're supposed to switch. Well, he gets off and he goes upstairs and I go downstairs to the red line, which I'm supposed to be on the same line he's on, but I'm con And then we both, he ends up upstairs and I end up on the other train and then I'm trying to get off the train to go meet him and then I end up like, on another train and the other train takes me on a total another direction and then that dream ends of me in a car going around on the freeway not making it to him oh what a pity what a sad dream disconnected from my partner there you go so there you go and to all of you who want me to go live today I'm sorry um, I'll be going live Wednesday night per usual 8 p.m. Central Time that's central here in Texas. Okay? So all of you that say that you're depressed or want me to go on, you know, just handle your depression or whatever on your own. Surround yourself with things you like. Put a smile on your face and go give yourself a positive talk. <laughs> and I want to let y'all know that I'm on Cameo. If you'd like to order any videos from me, I'd be more than happy to make your birthday wishes or positive wishes or anniversary wishes or whatever you'd like on Cameo. All right. Thank you all. And like I said earlier, I still have these Tammy Brown vintage posters and I'm going to do it as a combo. I'm going to include these two pins with it Uh huh. for a really good price and I'll be happy to sign the poster for you. Awesome. Hi everybody, I would like to make a shout out for Charles Bush, who will be in, um, yes, the lady in question, Charles Bush, will be in San Francisco at the Oasis. That's right, Oasis. Charles Bush will be at the Oasis on the 7th, which is tomorrow, and the 8th of March. So check him out in San Francisco, Charles Bush, the woman in question, Psycho Beach Party. Okay, continue on with the Charles Bush tour. You can see him the 9th and 10th. That's at the Purple Room in Palm Springs, California. You know, Palm Springs, where the gays go to die. I only say that because that's where Liberace died. 
All right, Charles Bush in Los Angeles, California. That's right. You can see Charles Bush at the Rockwell Table Stage, Table and Stage Theater in Los Angeles, California. That is the 12th and 13th of March. All right, children, if you don't know who Charles Bush is, I suggest you look Charles Bush up for movies like Psycho Beach Party, Plays, Vampires of Sodom, many more, The Woman in Question, documentary on him, and so many more. Awesome. A hot minute ago, I posted um, on my feed where I'll be in New York City the 4th and 5th of May, live and in concert at the Lori Beachman Theater, New York City. You can get tickets at Spin Cycle. Spin Cycle. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all keep asking me how you can get me on Cameo. It's Book Cameo. Book Cameo. And I'll tag it right here. And you can go that way and get me to do one of those special greetings for you. Book Cameo. All right, this is what I got so far. She's coming together, rag queens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. Well, look at her. She's going to have a snake. Una culebra. Rag queens in the making. Hi, good morning. Mm -hmm. mm. Queen support and queen here. Vicky Buffon on my coffee mug. See you all tonight on my live feed Wednesday nights. That's right. Oh, yesterday on the um, Tina Turner musical page here on Instagram, they asked uh, which was my favorite concert or art, which was your favorite song and concert and what really inspired you. Well, I've been to... So which ones were my favorite concerts? I got to go to Wildest Dreams in 1997. Wildest Dreams was my favorite, and I loved the live concert of Tina Turner in Amsterdam, Wildest Dreams. It's really good with her Versace dress on. And then another concert that I love, I love, love, is Tina Turner's Live in Barcelona um, with the Foreign Affair Tour. In fact, when I bought that video cassette, I bought it when I was in junior high school. Videos, you know, videotape? My cousin Lauren um, and I danced to, to that all night long to the concert because it's like two hours long concert. And her and I death, I mean, she's death is what I'm trying to say. And we just danced. I don't know how she could hear it, but she could feel the rhythm. And then my other favorite concert is the farewell concert that Tina did um, in 2008 when she turned 70, 50 years in the business. That was so simply the best. That tour was amazing. And I also used to write the Oprah show. I wrote the Oprah show probably from 1995 till 2008. And then later on, right before Oprah show went off and she wrote her retired her show, I even wrote the show again. And when I used to write the Oprah show, I used to get letters from the Oprah show saying, oh, keep up with your schoolwork because I was in junior high and high school at the time. And they would stamp it, Oprah. And then, in fact, the Oprah show even contacted me and had me do a mimic of Tina Turner, like a lip sync or whatever. That tape is probably over there. A video tape is probably over in some archives at Harpo, Oprah's company. But anyhow, I still didn't meet Tina. And then later, before the other show was canceled, the, the Oprah show was canceled. And I was on that other campaign. The Oprah show responded as well. But still no dice. Or as Tina say, you couldn't get arrested. Um, that's when you can't get a hit single, I guess, or a hit. But um, I'm excited about the Tina Turner musical, and I'm glad I could share with y'all my Tina experience. So for tonight's live feed, I'm going to be trying on my Ray Wig style by Integration. I'm going to be wearing my new lashes that I was sponsored by. And then, uh-huh, we're going to be listening to the music of Tears for Fears. All right, she is ready with an ant in the background. I don't know if you can see the ant, but she's ready. DM me for prices. Well, she's actually $2.25.
Can I get everybody to say one, two, three? One, two, three! Oh. 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 You know what? She's like, I will kill you! But she said it with her. Good morning. Well, Mardi Gras is over. I'm all dusted and done. And you know what? I'm glad. Not in a bad way. <clears throat> just, um, just didn't mark the end of a really, really busy three months for me. So, um, now I can sort of just chill out a little bit. And now I can go back to somewhat of a normal life, a normal routine. Um, and the next big thing we've got is DragCon, which is great. So that's two months away. Um, so yes, it's very exciting that I can just chill out a bit. I've got two days off, back at work on Friday, and that's it. But the most disappointing part about the whole weekend was that I didn't get any really good photos of my outfit. Um, I just, just forgot to take photos. Um, but I think I'm going to do a little professional shoot with the lovely John McRae and um, get to the Botanical Gardens and, and get my fairy queen back on and, and um, do a shoot amongst the flowers and the nature. That'll be cute. That'll be lovely, won't it? Um, but yes, it was a lovely time. I, I thoroughly enjoyed wearing my outfit. It was very glamorous. It felt very good. But um, yeah... But yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of the day in bed, and tomorrow in bed, and eat, and watch TV. So I don't think you'll be hearing much of me because I'll be doing very little. So anyway, enjoy. You know, I was expecting the worst for my wings. I was, I was expecting to have to recover them, basically, um, just because I knew they'd get bashed around, the nature of Mardi Gras, lots of people. Um, but they're not that bad, actually. Look, got a little bit of damage here. Nothing sticky tape won't fix. A bit of damage up here. Now this is the problem with having some time off when you're a successful entrepreneur. Um, so Friday was my last day at work and it's just Wednesday morning now, like it's like 10 to eight. Um, but I've got 200 emails <laughs> I have to go through, which is like the last thing I want to do, but it has to be done. This one's a bit damaged here and then a little rip there, but that's all com completely fixable with CTA, I think. Yeah, good, thank God. Lovely. Ready, oh, there I am. Uh -huh.
Well, there you have it. Um, <clears throat> who needs to go to Mardi Gras? No, um, I think you can find that video on, um, on YouTube under Bob Down's Mardi Gras show. Maybe not Bob Down was in it, but it was the I Am What I Am show. But anyway, um, but I can't, at least I've got something to show for this. <laughs> but the worst thing was, remember how I said my, um, my wings weren't balanced right? So I had to adjust them, I had to put a strap in, and they'd been they fine all the way to the parade, all day, perfect. The moment I walked out on stage, I felt that strap pop and it broke. So the whole show, I was really conscious about my wings falling backwards. So I was sort of doing it a little bit hunched and, was, you know, there's a lot happening on that stage. So it was a bit, my attention was um, elsewhere other than the actual performance. But yes, nice. Well, you know what? I've taken this next couple of days off because I thought I needed the rest. And I'm going to take the rest, but I'm bored. Anyway, never mind. Um, so I guess now starts my countdown to 40. I had the plan that after Mardi Gras was over, because it marked the end of um, a long three months of hard work, that I would um, then start my countdown to 40, which is in September. So that's starting, well, not now. Because I've got the next few days off and you know, this is technically my holiday. Um, so I am gonna take them and enjoy it and relax. But as of Monday, I'm gonna put in a few um, new changes and that's I'm gonna exercise every second day, go swimming, and I'm gonna watch what I'm eating. And I'm gonna to start to quit smoking again. Start quitting. Um, because for the last two months I haven't bothered trying to quit, like since I started again, I've been smoking for three months now. And um, again, and um, I know it's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna go cold turkey, I'm just gonna reduce and try and work at it and try and eventually. So basically what I wanna do is enter my 40s in the best possible condition that I can be in. Um, <clears throat> and you know, it's just, it's just more about just being conscious of looking after myself and respecting my body and um, because I've spent the last few years working on my mental state, so I'm really happy with, with the way that is. You know, my home life's great, my work's great, lots of things are fantastic and fall into place. Um, and so now it's time to respect my body. So rather than just eating what I want and smoking and drinking, because I really feel that the 40s, my 40s are gonna be the best years of my life. Like, I mean, every year is the best year of your life. Like, and just as long as you have fun and you enjoy it and you work hard and you do all that and, and, and live life. Um, but for some reason, I think my 40s are gonna be incredible and I wanna make sure that I'm incredible for 